I bought just enough. Oh. Hello, my book friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly. This is Let's Read Into It. And I am coming at you guys with a birthday book haul. I love watching book hauls. I love watching it. I love doing it. It's probably my favorite thing. Seeing what people get and if they get like something I like, like a book that I've read and absolutely loved, I'm so excited to see what they think of it. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I've got. I got a lot. I got a lot. <laughs> um, some of these I bought, like I think I bought three of these and others... I was like gift cards so other people got them for me technically <laughs> but I got quite a bit so let's just go ahead and get into it because I'm excited to share what I've got because there are some good ones I don't know if I can actually pick this up like you can see it a little bit this is <laughs> I got all these from Amazon so if you have been watching me for a little bit um, I talked about I am recollecting my Rachel Gibson and Susan Elizabeth Phillips collections because I had to get rid of them when I moved up here. Um, I got the books from my mom and my grandmother and they just couldn't make the trip. I came up with like three suitcases and a dog so I couldn't bring all the books with me and it was just gonna be too expensive to like ship all of them so I had to donate a lot of them. So I got a ton Ton. I'm pretty sure I only have like three left to get, which isn't bad. Three or four. Um, but I got 14 of Rachel Gibson and Susan Elizabeth Phillips. So let's just go ahead and go through them. Some of these I have read. Some of them I haven't. Either way, I'm going to be rereading these anyway because it has been quite some time since I have read them. So I'm just going to... I'm just gonna reread them and I'm gonna put them on my cart. Like I was having like an internal struggle of like, do I just go ahead and put them on the bookshelf? Like, as you can see, a lot of it has been like cleaned out because I got a lot of books and I'm, I'm reading quite a bit more than I normally have in the months. And so I was like, I've got to make room. So as you can see, it's a little blank back there. And start with Susan Elizabeth Phillips. I got four of hers. All of these are from the Chicago Star series. I believe she has a few more. I think there's like seven books in this series. I'm not sure, but it's football romance, like adult football romance NFL. Um, I have read these three. I've not read Natural Born Charmer. One is just super cute. So Natural Born Charmer, I did not have. I'm very excited. Um, Dream a Little Dream. This is one of the first ones I read. Um, for my like mom's collection. Um, I don't remember it too much because it's been like close to like 10 years since I've read this. So I'm excited to go back and kind of reread these because I feel like it's going to bring up a lot of like, I don't know, nostalgia of when I first read it. And maybe I'll be thinking like, I'll be taking them in differently. Like I'm older, who knows. This Heart of Mine, I remember this one just because... <laughs> The female character is a little Looney Tune and she actually like she draws cartoons and she has these funny like like bunny characters I believe and she puts them on her underwear. It's the funniest thing. I'm excited to reread this one. I also remember this one, Nobody's Baby But Mine. <laughs> so she, from what I remember, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I remember this one a little bit more because this is one of my favorites out of the series um she really wants to have a baby she's older and so instead of just going to a sperm bank she like does like she becomes like a sex worker um for like the night and goes to this birthday party for the quarterback of the chicago stars to get pregnant like, but he doesn't know and it's yeah so there's some trickery and there's a pregnancy trope in there and but yeah so i'm excited about that one let's get into the Rachel Gibsons. I got 10 Rachel Gibsons and most of these I have read. There are some where I'm like, I didn't remember that one. So I bought those, but see Jane score. This is part of her hockey romance series. I'm not sure how many are in this series. I'm pretty like, like, I'm pretty sure it's like six or seven, but see Jane score was the first one I read in this series. It's about the goalie 
in for the it's the Seattle Chinooks Chinooks I don't know how to pronounce it but it's she's writes like the I she writes in like Idaho Washington State like settings so I really like it so a lot of this stuff I'm like oh I know what that is and so now that we have like a hockey team it makes me want to go and just be like I'm here but this is really cute. So she's a reporter and she um, travels with the team and her and the goalie are kind of like these enemies um, to lovers. She really wants to do a piece on him. And he's like, no, I'd rather do anything else. And he's actually raising his little sister. And so it's really cute. Okay, what I love about you, I do not remember reading this and I have, it made no impression on me. So I'm gonna reread this and it's gonna be a complete surprise I don't know I'm in no mood for love this is another like this isn't part of the like hockey romance this is like separate this is her writer friend series there's four in that um but all of these like connect because in here you get Jane from C. Jane score you get her like appearing in this so they're all like interconnected um, but this has kind of like a friends to enemies to lovers type thing. Grumpy Sunshine. I, it's one of my favorites of hers. So I'm excited about rereading this one. True Love and Other Disasters. This is a part of the Hockey Romance series. And she actually was married to the owner of the hockey team. And then he dies and he leaves it to her and she knows nothing and everybody just sees her for like a gold digger because he was much older and no one really knows her and she like clashes with the team captain yeah simply ir irresistible i believe this is like the first in the hockey romance series i believe um because this like goes over like um generations because the latest in this series which is still like five, six, seven years old, uh, the latest in the series came out, um, is about their child. So this is another kind of misunderstood heroine who the guy just thinks she's like a dumb bimbo, basically. A lot of guys think that. They're just like, ugh, she knows nothing because she's a woman. And you're like, I hate you. So you have to come to terms with some of like, because these are all written in the late 90s, early 2000s. So a lot of the stereotypes, you're like, cool. <laughs> like, I'm glad I did. Like, I was too young to like experience this. But reading it, I'm like, jump off a cliff. Like, I don't know. Just Kiss Me. I've not read this one. I'm not sure what it's about. I'm not going to read the blurb. Because one, we're not reading the blurbs in these because I've got too many to show you guys. But I'm not even sure what series. I think this just might be a standalone, which I'm fine with. Um, most of hers are in a series though. It must be love. I'm pretty sure what I remember from this one is she's a psychic and this cop comes to her like reluctantly for help and they fall in love. I think that's what it is, but it may be different. <laughs> Who knows when I reread this. Nothing But Trouble is also a part of the hockey romance um, Seattle series and he gets Mark. The reason I remember this, I actually like borrowed this from the library because I was like I really want to read a Rachel Gibson book and I read this one he gets injured and so he has to sit out and he needs a new assistant she comes on and she is the stereotypical like she wanted to be an actress and she start started these like torture porn type movies where just like girls are naked and blood's all over and things like that but she wants to be taken seriously but again like it's like boss employee type relationship so it's good it's not my favorite out of this series though any man of mine is probably one of my favorite <laughs> um so they actually have a child together it came from a one night stand in vegas like what happens vegas stays in vegas lies and so she is actually a like wedding planner and plans his teammates wedding and so they run into each other they don't really see each other that much his like assistant slash nanny is the one who picks up their their son things like that so he runs into her and like it's one of those like oh she's super ordinary and then he really says no I'm in love with her so but this one's really cute the character development in this one I actually really enjoyed and their little boy was really cute
And then finally, Tangled Up in You. This is another in the like writers, writer friend series. I don't even know how she like says that one. But anyway, um, she goes back to Idaho where she grew up, turns like she is a true crime writer. Actually, her mom was murdered. And so she goes back, doesn't say who she is, but wants to explore what happened in this small town. And the bar owner where she goes back to where her mom used to work is like, get the fuck out. Like, no. Um, but this one's really, really good. Not as good as I'm in no mood for love, but definitely like close second. So those were all of my like Rachel Gibson, Susan Elizabeth Phillips. Now I'm going on to things I got, I picked up at Barnes and Noble because I had no self-control. I literally went in there. I was like, you're coming home with me and you're coming home with me and you're coming home with me. And my fiance was like, don't you think that's enough? I'm like, no, I have a gift card, bitch. Like get in my cart. Okay. So I got Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. Christina Lauren are the author's how do you say it when there's two of them? Anyway, they're one of those authors that I will just, I'll buy. Like, I know I'm going to like it. Get in my cart. I know, I know I'm going to enjoy it. So I will buy you. Um, I was kind of debating between this one and Rumi's. I wasn't too sure, but I went with this one. The latest release from Katie Robert, Radiant Sin. This is a, a book four in her like Olympus series. I've not read the third one, which is um, Wicked Beauty, I believe, but I'm excited. One, I love the cover. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I am I like that series. I didn't like the second one as much as Neon Gods. Electric Idol, I had a hard time finishing. For some reason, I kept putting it down, picking up other books. It didn't, con like, I didn't connect with it as much, but I still like the series, so I had to pick up the new one. I got two Megan Miranda books. If you are new here, I love Megan Miranda. I finished all of her books within like a month period. So I had to finish the last two I did not have from her, which is Such a Quiet Place, and then as well as The Last House Guest. So I immediately, these were like the last ones on the shelves too, and I was like, yes, this is a sign, you're mine. <laughs> Um, I just love this author. I love her writing style. I love that you really don't know what's happening until literally the last chapter. She keeps me hooked from like page one. So I'm very, very excited. If you've not read her, go check her out. I always say start with All the Missing Girls. It's fantastic. Um, the Girl from Widow Hills is also just, it's one of those you have no clue what's going down. Very, very good. Perfect Stranger as well. Listen, I can go on and on about her all day. So I will just go through these very quickly. Queen of Queen of Miss Queen of Myth and Monsters from Scarlet St. Clair. I have not read A King of uh, Battle and Blood yet, but I've heard from everyone that it's so good. So I went ahead and got the second book because I'm impatient. God forbid I finish it and I couldn't get this. So I went ahead and got it. I'm very excited. I read, was it A Touch of Darkness, I believe, which is her Perse Persephone and Hades series. And I really liked it. I like the writing. So I was like, well, I'll probably like this. Let's go ahead and grab it. Hannah Winton for The Wolf. I've heard mixed reviews on this one. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm gonna give it a shot. I like the cover. I like the blurb when I read it. So I like a good... I like fantasy and I can do fantasy without like a romance subplot, but I like a romance subplot. I had to have a little sprinkle in there. I don't know. I can't just like have straight fantasy because it actually kind of bores me because I'm like, bang already. Like, good Lord. Also by Hannah Winton, her new series, I got Fox, the Foxglove King. This is going to be a part of the Nightshade Crown series and I'm like... This is the Barnes & Noble edition, which I don't mind, but I'm pretty sure the original cover, it ha like the flowers are in color and I think I would like that better, but whatever. This is the one I got. Um, it's a little presumptuous that I bought this before I knew if I liked her as an author. Yes. Do I care? No, not really. So I'm very excited about that. Next book. 
I picked up on a break from lunch. Like, I got the last few, like, on my lunch period. And I question whether I should bring it into work or just leave it in my car because people were going to see it and I was a little worried. So it's called Murder Your Employer, uh, McMaster's Guide to Homicide by Rupert Holmes. I was real nervous I was going to take this in. HR was like, we got to talk to you. <laughs> but it looked, it looks really funny. Um, it's a signed edition, which I really didn't care if I got it or not. <laughs> if I got a signed edition, that's the only ones they had out, which I was whatever. But I absolutely love the cover. It seems pretty funny because it's about um, a school that teaches you, like, about homicide. And I'm like, oh, I'll go. That sounds fantastic to me. But I'm I'm excited. I've never read anything by that author. But it just, the cover caught my eye. So did Murder Your Employer. It's, it's, it sounded funny. I was nervous about leaving that in the car because I was like, no one walk by and think something's wrong. I just need you guys to know that. It's a book. Just know that. This next one, I got The God of Endings. So I actually saw in, like, Barnes & Noble sends you your emails and stuff. And so I was looking through it, and they had, like, a little, like, piece of this. And they said, if you, if you like Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, you'll love this. And I was like, oh, I like that one. So let's see. And so this one actually seems really, really interesting. The cover is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm pretty sure it's about vampires. But she doesn't know she's a vampire, but she's been living for centuries. Don't know. It seems really, really interesting. It's a good chunk of a book, but I'm very, very excited. So that is all I got, you guys. That's 23 books. I got 23 books. I got a good selection, obviously more romance than anything. But I also wanted to get, like, I wanted to get my fantasy. I wanted to get, I didn't get any YA, which is fine. I feel like I have enough YA right now, but I wanted to get a good selection that would keep me just like busy. And this is going to keep me busy. Um, I should have, I turned 28 and I really should have just gotten five more books. So I can get 28 books for 28. Like that'd be nice, but we'll stick with 23. 23 is enough. It will get me through. Like I told my mom how many I got and she's like, what is wrong with you? And I was like, I'm gonna read it. It's, I'm gonna read them. Like, it's fine. It's whatever. But that was my birthday book haul. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any of these or if you've read any of them, your thoughts. I'm gonna be busy just doing what I do, which is reading. But if you're not already, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so you're notified when I upload. I have new videos every week. So until next time, bye.